Hello everyone, Ryan here and welcome back to the channel. In this particular video I'm going to be covering three GNOME extensions that I recommend everyone installs when they're using the installation of Ubuntu 22.04. So Ubuntu uses the GNOME desktop environment by default and although it's not as customizable as other desktop environments such as KDE Plasma, it is possible to expand some functionality by using GNOME extensions. Now the default GNOME experience if you like is designed to be simple and functional Although, you will find that the Ubuntu developers will pre-install some extensions to make the experience of using Ubuntu more unique. Two obvious examples of that are the Ubuntu Dock, which is located on the left-hand side of the screen, as well as the ability to now add folders, shortcuts and files to the desktop. In other words, if you're using a distribution such as Fedora, which ships with the vanilla GNOME experience, you're not going to have a dock and you're not going to have the ability to add icons to the desktop. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with GNOME extension number one. So the first extension we're going to be covering is the alphabetical app grid. Now, if you're coming from the previous Ubuntu LTS release, the 2004, you might have noticed that your application folders in the application grid are no longer in alphabetical order. If I'm honest, I don't know why this change was made because I don't really understand it. As if you think about it logically, if you're going to be looking for something, you would instinctively be looking from A to Z. Either way, if you install this extension, you'll now be able to reignite your application grid in alphabetical order once again. And this will also apply to any custom folders that you may have created as well. So number two on the list is Impatience. And this is an extension that allows you to change the animation speed when you're opening and closing windows within the GNOME desktop environment. So GNOME has a reputation of being slow or clunky, but mostly this is due to the animations not being particularly fast. However, this particular extension will now allow you to adjust how fast you want the animations to play. So by default, if we use one as the normal speed, then by default, this extension will set it to be 25% faster. But of course, this is customizable, so you can set the animations to be near instantaneous or even slow them down as well. A simple extension that makes your desktop more snappy. Finally, we have the sound input and output device chooser extension. Now what this extension will do, will add a drop down menu for all inputs and outputs on your system. In other words, it will allow you to switch between any available speakers or microphones you might have currently plugged in. Now normally of course you can do this by navigating through the GNOME menu, but having a quick shortcut at the top of the screen is a massive time saver. So with that I've covered three extensions that I recommend everyone installs if you're going to be installing and using Ubuntu 22.04. Now, I personally like the simplicity of the GNOME desktop environment, and I find that it fits 99% of my needs. But for the 1%, there's always an extension that can be installed. So let me know in the comments, guys. Is there any particular extensions I should be looking at? Is there any that you use on a daily basis? Or am I just back at the wrong tree and I should be using something different? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.